When you first begin with the light shark and patch your first fixtures as we did in the previous video, the next thing you'll want to do is create some groups. Groups are automatically created for each fixture type. However, you'll often want to create groups for different parts of your stage. In this case, I'm going to select the first five fixtures. These will be my front wash, so I'm going to press record. And then I'm going to press on a new group tile. I can then press and hold or press set and then press the group and I can give it a name. Notice within this group properties pop up, I can also give it a color. Let's go ahead and do that. The color allows you to identify the group quickly and easily. Now let's go ahead and press clear. But before I do that, I want to walk you through a couple simple things. First and foremost, You'll notice whenever we have lights selected and possibly parameters in our programmer, the clear button is illuminated on the console surface itself. That's a great indicator that you have something selected. Let's go ahead and press clear. There are two different types of clear available within the light shark, and now's a great time to go over them. If we go into our preferences menu, into user preferences, we'll see that there are a couple clear options. One of them is single and one of them is double. In the single mode, which is the default, a single press will deselect your lights and also clear everything in your programmer. In the double, you can press clear once to deselect, however, still keep everything else in the programmer. While I realize we haven't explained all of these concepts yet, we do recommend keeping it in the double mode for most situations. However, if you have a situation where you need a simpler programming interface with a little bit less complication, the single mode can work really well. We'll be using the double mode in these videos. While we're here, we've also turned auto save on, we're loading our last show at startup, and we've also turned on channel return to default as well as highlight with low light. All of these options can be changed and are described well in the manual. Now we'll press exit. Let's go ahead and build another group. And this time we'll call it backlight. Notice when we press record, the record button illuminates on the console surface. Then we'll go ahead, create our new group. Give it a color and we're good to go. While we're here, it's very important to note that groups have the option to observe a layout. If we hold on the group here, we can get to the group properties, but if we hit edit and press the group, we'll be taken to a 2D layout screen. This layout view allows you to run effects across your stage in a 2D form. It can be really powerful, and every group can have a different layout, as long as it's a user-generated group. System generated groups will always have this layout where all fixtures are in order in a straight line. To adjust fixtures in a group here in the layout view, just press on the fixture and then press where you'd like it to go. You can also select multiple fixtures and select where you'd like the first one to go. As you can see, it's very easy to make a very nice layout. Now, I'll be able to run effects later in these tutorials up, down, side to side, as well as a variety of other ways. It's definitely worth your time to set up. Press yes to save the layout, and now that layout has been saved. Let's go ahead and hop over to the next video.